Hello everybody, everybody. Sweet, I think we are live and low. Would you do me a favor and tweet out that freaking link and I'll retweet it? I can do that. Michael, hey, I really fucking appreciate that, that, dude. That's a lot. It's not easy to admit that. It, it really fucking isn't. But I will do it anyway. Uh, Let's see how the audio everybody. looks like. We had some technical oh, difficulties. Hey, yeah, we did. Uh, we tried to start up Draw Pile, and it didn't fucking work. Maybe next time. Uh, how do we sound, everybody? So we're just going to do the regular Flash thing this time. But next time, it's going to be Michael and I drawing. Isn't that a novel concept? Um, a little program that lets us draw together. Isn't that incredible, people? How do we both sound? Do we both sound okay? Is one of us louder than the other? Etc. Etc. So cool. Very quiet. Is that real? Is it actually very quiet? Or is that a fucking bit? Ah, ah, how does this sound? Ah, Michael, say something. Ah, uh, hello, ah, uh, ah, uh, hello. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I'm so, I, I'd like to have this stuff sorted before we actually stream every time, but it always, like, reset, redoes my settings, so. Yeah, it does. Michael is quiet. Like, what's that noise in the background? Alright. I think I got it sorted. Okay, let's uh, let's start off by taking questions from the chat, I guess. Zach is louder. Okay, I'll turn myself down rather than turning Michael up here. Bah! Bah! I don't speak freaky deaky ducks. How's that? Michael, I think that's fucking fantastic, my friend. Uh, special thanks to Samuel Aaronsburg. That's not a real name, but he donates five bucks. I really appreciate it. He says, I'm already getting I'm already right. getting positive vibes. It's making my urethra grin. Well, I think that's a uh, very that's kind little, little message. Is that positive? It's not that good. You don't think so? You're not a fan of that? No, I wasn't too much a fan of that one. How much do you smoke a day? I don't smoke... Um, Anything, any day. That's a bit of a personal question. Yeah, it is. We I was gonna say, Michael. To I was gonna say the same thing, Michael. And I'm glad you pointed it out. When is the new schmucks out? Uh, I would say very, very, very soon. It's my birthday. Can you draw me a birthday alien? Yeah, I'll draw you. I'll draw. Okay, that's the first thing we'll do. Draw an alien for this young guy. It'll take two seconds, but we'll draw an alien. The people, I usually have a nice cup of hot coffee with me, and... Yeah, why don't you tell your Armenian uh, market story? This is a crazy story. I went to an Armenian market, and I was going to get regular coffee, like Folgers or Maxwell's or something, whatever the fuck it's called. And uh, they had none of that, so I just grabbed from the refrigerated part, I grabbed a double espresso, double Starbucks double shot espresso. V quiet voice. <laughs> Are you kidding? People, how does the audio level sound? I don't want to... I... Let me listen back to it. And... Yeah, why don't you tell your... Um, um, I think it sounds right. Wait, let me turn myself up a tiny bit, but I think... Bye! Hard. I think we're good. I paid $2 to tell your chat is dub. I actually like this Nick P guy. He sounds like a kind of a go-getter. Uh, Michael... He's going place. Michael Lisp... Lispy donates five bucks. Says, I love you. more dead. Let's hope to God this man does not have an actual list because uh, he would have been bullied relentlessly. In, in, as no, 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 definitely. No, he would have, no, 100%. He would have gotten uh, piss taken out of him because of that lisp. I'm too quiet. Okay, let me turn myself up more. I was too loud earlier. I'm just going to keep it right here. I'm not going to move it from here. <laughs> let's, just, let's just end this straight. Yeah, let's just, you want to end it? This is already off to a horrible start. Want to bail? Bail? Yeah, bail. Yeah, bail. Bail, bail, yeah. yeah. Bail. Yeah, I'm done. I think, honestly, like, I'm, I'm, I'm already over. Oh, it. here's an interesting question, Michael. You and I can both answer this. Joma Lee 
BD donates five bucks and he says, or she, I don't know what it is. I don't know what you are. What kind of character you are. But they say to us, they say, maybe you've been asked this before, but what did you need to do to get a pitch appointment with a major studio? What does you need to do? And what does you need to do, Michael? What does you need to do? <laughs> um, what was the question again? To get a pitch? So, yeah, what do you what do you need what do you sorry. need to what 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 requirements need to be made to to be with a big studio pitch to um, a studio, Michael? Well, you usually need to be represented by someone like agents or managers to get you into the door, uh, and usually the the way to go about it is after that get like a materials together like a pitch bible, like a big document with your show, and uh, yeah, ideally Michael, like a pilot Mike, pilot script episode or something. Yeah, like Michael's that. read with it. There's a couple ways you could do it. You could do the, you, the way I see it. There's kind of three ways to uh, do like the the whole the whole pitch thing. Way number one is you could be a fucking you could do what everyone else does, and you could work in a studio or be work in a writer's room, and then you could pitch stuff from there and say, "Hey, I worked on this big program." Uh, or the second way you could do it is you, as an individual, can pitch to a studio. Like, let's say you go to. I don't know, Tip Mouse or, or, or Stupid Monkey, whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, and you can say, hey, I have an idea for a show. But usually that, that's a little bit harder to do. But you can do that. And then they'll and if they if they want to partner with you, number one, you have a studio, which is good. And then they'll go studio around. Studio or pr production company, too. Yeah, yeah. Company yeah, and then they'll pitch yeah, it around for you. And then you can, or the third way you can do it is the way we're doing it, which is really, really stupid, where you could just be two guys and go, hey, we're not attached to any studio. Can we have a show, please? Uh, yes, yes. If you send them, can we? Can we have? I can have hamburger. They will. Uh... Hello, we, we we made a we made videos for the YouTube. Can we have a TV show now, please? Yeah, if you say that to people and you like uh, like salivate and drip, uh, like spit everywhere, I think they'll they'll give you a show. Uh, Ryan Watterson, Walterson. That's a fucking insane name. Donates five Canadian dollars. Not real. Right? It gets even crazier. Just wanted to say I'm looking forward to seeing you be interviewed in that upcoming hand drawn documentary. Well, thank you, Ryan Walterson. You fucking made up pseudonym. I'm not gonna fall for this. There's a lot of fake names in the chat today. Yeah, I'm not I've been noticing the, that the too. It's really kind of irking me. Yeah, that's freaking me out. It's creepy. It's oh, so creepy. Samuel Aaronsburg once again doing twenty bucks, and he says, "Do you have a favorite quote, or you just mean of, of every quote ever made?" All the quotes that have been made. Which one is your favorite, Zach? Of all the quotes ever made? That's actually hard. I don't... I don't where do you even start? Draw Sarah Bush? Who's Sarah Bush? Maybe I should be reading that one out. Is that like a horrible like meme? Yeah, you just got blacklisted yeah, just got, by yeah, saying that, fucked. buddy. I should have said that. I just like... <laughs> it's like a code. It's a dog whistle. We'll take, a, we'll take a few more questions from the chat here, and we'll get to doing doodling. I know that one guy wanted alien. Doing stuff. Draw Jordan Peterson and Stalin. Uh, no. <laughs> so silly. No, idea. we're not gonna do no, that. No, we're not gonna do that, buddy. All right. And if you keep up these, hey, buddy, I'm on the stage. This is how this works. You're down there. I'm up here. Everyone's here to see me. That's how this works. Worst question ever. Michael, what, is, what does that's, that mean? That's the comic book, comic book guy from The Simpsons. Uh, oh, yeah, I, I think I've heard about that. Yeah, no, fa pretty famous character. Draw a Fortnite gun. Please, please, Fortnite gun now. A Fortnite gun? Well, he did say please twice. Um, yeah. I like, I like the sort of, I like the desperate, like the panic. Please, 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 Fortnite gun. That's you will make Jeff Jeff o Sniffer's day if you draw a Fortnite gun. I do that. I love the username. I love the idea. You know what? I think it's gonna happen. Uh, Daniel Burwood. Oh. I get another false fucking name. Another anonymous coward. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Guess what, Hiding buddy? Hey, avatar. buddy. Hey, I call my representative. I want a law that says everybody online has to use their real address yeah. and social security number. Hide behind Enough your little the fucking egg, troll egg name. Profiles. Hey, nice egg, egg profile, trolls. dude. Hey, hey! Listen to me right now. I'm sick of you trolls. I'm sick of you anonymous uh, creeps and everything like that. And if you and eggs keep tweeting at me, warriors. I'm going to lock my Twitter account down for at least 48 hours. 
I will block anybody, everybody and anybody in my path that is not a compromise. There's no... I won't back down from that one. You did say you've, you've fought some trolls too. Like in yeah. real life, some people have sent you hate mail. I stuff, love right? fighting guys... trolls because you know what? Because they're jealous. Does that make sense? Mm. If no, anybody yeah. ever gives you criticism, it's not because they want to better you. It's because they're jealous of you. I can see Does that. Does that make sense? Like, whenever I criticize something, it's because I have good intentions. But if everybody ever criticizes me, it means that they're uh, jealous and stuff. Yeah, yeah. They're you know what I mean? Inferior, inferior or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It means, like, that. exactly. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's look at these. Well, I could get some stuff. Uh, Henry... Purcell says, man, I really want one of those Gremlo pins that were sold out. Now fetch me breakfast. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, man. I, I, I really, people, I mean, I didn't get, nobody gave me shit for it, but I did feel bad tweeting out, like, hey, the pins are running low. Not because, I, I mean, obviously I want them to go, get sold out, of course. But the bigger thing, and this is true, is whenever we do, like, limited run, uh, limited run pins, People always, I got like four emails when the pins came out, or like when they ran out, and people said, is there any way I could get one? I was like, no, I can't. When they're gone, they're gone. The company that I'm working with, Shark Robot, um, the, 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 the collaboration pretty much stops when I just give them what they need to make the product. I have no like uh, line to the direct line to them. So sorry I missed out, man. Uh, if anybody is interested, there's some other stuff that we're going to do. Um... There's some, there's some other, like, Hellbender stuff, but it, that last push will be the last of it, for real. And you'll never have to hear about it again. And you can hear about um, exciting exciting new products. Let's see. Uh, wait a second, there's a few questions went by. Common Creation says, Hey dudes, are there any artists, books, or cartoons that you find yourself returning to for inspiration when you find yourself stuck? Zach, do you want to... Michael, I'll be you go ahead and answer that one first. Um, God, it, it usually will just be, if I'm just... Surf, surf in the web, as I like to say, I'll stumble across something that will get me inspired, and I don't even realize it. Like it'll be like an old interview with some director, or yeah, I, we like talked about this before. I love like the behind the scenes stuff. I, I, I yeah, I really love like the making of. I love document. I, I, I think Six Days to Air is one of my favorite like documentaries. It's the Six Days to Air is really good. Um, some other the Lord of the Rings behind the scenes stuff gets me really inspired to just filmmaking in general. Uh, that's just like a really long kind of it's like not not even a know. documentary. It's a lot of us just fly on the wall of the whole making of those movies. No, I like that stuff, especially when I was younger. And I didn't know how anything works. It was all magic. It's like how yeah. the fuck do you make a movie? That's such an insane yeah, idea. Yeah, I think you'd love you'd love the Lord of the Rings ones because they're really in depth and they just go into a lot of the practical effects. You were telling me there's like, like a, pretty there's much like a shot of like an orc pussy or something, right? No, the, no, the, um, I didn't say that, but you bring that up a lot. I don't, I don't. Yeah, though you did say that. it once. I think you were like a little bit tipsy, but you said something about like there's a shot of like behind, like a. Def definitely didn't, but um, um yeah. No, you did though. Sorry. No, 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 you did though, right? No, I understand that you thought that, but but I just uh, okay. I def well, good to see because you definitely, you literally went a hundred percent. I, 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 I basically have the ability to to kind of cut back like a family, like cut away to any point in my life, like, but it's like crystal clear. Does that make sense? Not really, actually, no. Okay, well, no. I, yeah, I have, I have a photographic memory, and I remember seeing your lips move and saying the word orc pussy. And you kind of like, you kind of realize what you said, you went, whoa. You know what I mean? Like, you went, whoa. Like, you, even you realize what you just said? Does, I get, I know, I understand what you say, it just doesn't sound like me. It doesn't sound like something I'd ever do. So that's why I have trouble with the whole concept, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, let's move on. Um, I mean, the chat will decide who. In fact, guys, can you please debate who? Like, well, they, don't, the right... they don't need to decide because they weren't there. Well, I kind of do want to see. I kind of want to. I kind of want to do. I kind of want to see a debate kind of split up. Okay. Well, they. Well, this is like the Christine Blasey Ford versus. No, so. Yeah. Wait, we you cut out there. I think. Um, I think the FBI is like beaming little satellites down to you. Me, 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 me. Let's tell the crazy. Okay, okay, let's, let's, okay, we're gonna, we'll, burn through, we'll answer these, these two questions, and then we'll get drawing an alien, for real. Okay, so it's a slow one today, guys, uh, uh, Mexican Ninja, that's a fucking incredible combination of concepts, I love that, Mexican Ninja. He says, what's your go-to porn? Um, uh, go-to porn? What about you, Michael, you go first. Uh, I don't, I'm not, in, I'm, not <laughs> I'm really not. 
I, I kind of just like faded away from it. I think it was because I was trying to do NoFap for a while. And like, I, you know, I'd go back and forth from NoFap. And after a while, I was like, oh, well, you're gonna, I you're gonna need to explain that a little bit because people anymore. are gonna, there's, there's different sects of that, right? One sect of it is like the weird thing where people think you get, like, it's a religion thing. Some people think you get, like, superpowers. What's your reason? No, no, just, well, I mean, I, I would get, I guess I'd go back and forth. Like, I go on the Reddit and read a lot of that stuff, but <laughs> a lot of it is garbage. But I do believe there is something. Look, I, I think, would just, I don't know. I think there is total legitimacy. I think, by the way, I realize how far behind the chat is. I think I clicked a setting that makes the chat like one minute, four minute behind. Whatever. I was going to say, I think, I think uh, there's something to it. Look, if you're masturbating to porn constantly, that can't be good for your brain. I've said this before. Right. We evolved to like eat as much food as we can because we didn't have that much food like 15, 20,000 years ago. And we evolved to fuck as much as possible, right? And so, if yeah, you... it's, it's not just the porn thing. It's also just oh, it's the masturbation thing. Like I, I could waste a whole day just jerking off yeah, and just being porn. in bed. Like oh fuck, oh god, just like wanting to kill myself. Here's a good question. So, so yeah, uh, the part yeah, I, my my answer is Michael's answer. I mean, I, I whatever. Uh, uh, dead dead Max ninety six says, hey, you think you'll ever have uh, sick animation on this positivity? I think yes, one hundred percent. I, I'm totally down yes. for it. If he is, I'm down. Uh, Samuel Ellensburg, once again, $37. Thank you. So, Zach, the chat has spoken. A little crazy frog. I see the crazy frog. I see the hamoon. I see all the suggestions. Some of these are not even bad suggestions. They're just memes. I don't really want to... They're not bad people, but let's try to let's try to diversify. Let's try to make things crazy and innovative, right? Like, if, I, if, I'm, if I'm not responding to it, it just means, like, like I've either already drawn it before or... Let's let's keep it fresh. I don't want to draw Shrek and, and, and Jimmy Neutron. Let's keep it a little. I'm not shitting on you people. I'm just saying. I I I. I... Well, you kind of, you kind of are. So yeah, yeah. I'm basically saying you, you guys that. equal all hacks. Me equal genius. That's it. Get over it. <laughs> yep. Hey guys, it's not easy being a genius. Uh, this is the last two. God, I, I said two more, and then five more came in. This is the last two for real. For now. And good Fox raised five bucks. He says, Zach, every time you are an episode of Only Plays Makes My Day and I should know I'm a gamer. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, Michael was not actually one of those. He was on the Tom and Jerry one. We talked about computer worms. It's a good episode. Oh, yeah. We did talk about worms. We, well, computer worms, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah worms. That's what I said. Uh, X, this is the last one. XY, X, Yoss. I'm fucking blind, dude. I squid. It's really that good. I squid. You ever, you ever that episode of Seinfeld where George loses his glasses and he uses his uh, his prescription uh, goggles to see stuff? Yeah. That's how I feel. Hey, you know something? You hey. Sick animation, actually. I just saw a retweet of the little... If, if he's actually on, he could join us today. It's possible. If he wants to. He's active online. If he wants... Hey, if you're in here, feel free to join, uh, Mark. Just Raise your hand. Stand up. Uh, he says, sorry, the guy says, uh, thanks for all the laughs over the years. Please keep up the silly voices and animation. Well, there's plenty more of that to come. Uh, I'm going to draw Michael right now, buddy. You know, have you ever, I think you have yeah. drawn me, actually. I'll draw you very quickly. First, I'll draw an alien. Actually, you know what? I'll draw both of the same image. Hey, Michael, do me a favor. If, keep it on the chat. If uh, for, a little, for a little friend, Mark, or sick animation here, wants to join the... We know, and we'll see if we can drag him in. If he'd like. He's always welcome on, obviously. Okay, so first an alien, which somebody requested earlier. Now Samuel Ahrensberg says, Can you draw one of those things from the labyrinth doing some goofy stuff then? One of the orange guys from the swamp. I don't know what that is. I I saw the labyrinth in like... Like... 2007. I haven't seen it since... Riverface says, I would like you to draw my dumb little elf man. We don't know what your little Yeah, what's elf your little man creature is. you're describing here? Seems like it's very personal. Uh, super Snooper TM, you try your best, and that's what matters. Oh, now that's positive. That, guys, more of that. Michael's more negative, kind of the more positive one, but yeah, for sure we love the positivity. No one really said that, I don't think. Well, I mean, with the whole... I Again... In fact, on the very positive subreddit, I do want to see the orc pussy debate. Who who people think 
just kind of tell you the truth and everything. I think I feel like that's just wrapped up. I wouldn't. Uh, go yeah, back maybe. I mean, but I I would. I, I, yeah, no, I, I can see what you're saying, but I for sure would like to see that kind of be um, reopened. It, Does that make sense? It seems pretty cut and dry. I don't see a reason why. What do you mean? It would need to be. Re I don't see a reason why that needs to be debated anymore. That's just my. Uh, I just think because it, really. it seems like the audience really, really gave a. Uh, haven't 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 seen any anyone mention it, but. Okay. I really wish I could draw orc pussy on this fucking stream. God damn. Solar Snape eighty four says, "My sweet, naval nasal prince, how much? Uh, sorry, I'm blind too. I've got to expand my little Chrome Google Chrome." How much more would I have to donate for you to draw my fursona live, arguing angrily with Danny DeVito, all the best? Um, a lot of these donation suggestions are not even a matter of, it's more of just a matter of time. <laughs> no, no, I'm not even kidding. I, I don't mind, like, like at that point, like, like if it was like, you know, this is a hyperbole, right? But if it was like, draw like, or like, paint the crazy thing, it's like, like just time-wise, we can't do that only because we have 30 minutes, we only have 30 minutes left. But... I'll, 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 if you guys are fine, like, with me knocking stuff out really quick and it looks like shit because it's funny, I'm, I'm fine to do some, some weirder suggestions. That's, I'm not liking how this looks. It looks a little bit too, uh, polished Nick or something. Schwing says, can you draw Arthur Morgan from Red Dead? Are you a big gamer? Are you, no. Zach, are you a gamer? No. I actually have not played Red Dead Redemption. Um, I was playing Rust a little while ago. I still, I still think that'd be an interesting... But I think they can make an interesting video. Just it's funny, you got into Rust right when I deleted my Steam app. I feel bad. I still like to play with you. I still, I've had some interesting interactions. I told you there was like a guy that approached me. I, th I have the audio. So I don't know if I told the story. It's not even that crazy. But oh, the... no, you did tell me that. You should upload that. Yeah, I, I, I recorded it, but it was... Um, I don't know how funny it is in the recording, but in concept, uh, <laughs> basically I was playing and this guy ran up to me and like destroyed my fucking thing. And I was like, okay, fair enough. And then uh, I respawned in my little bed, and then when I came out, a little a little naked uh, African American character ran up to me. That was not the guy to kill my thing. Just completely naked, and the guy like motioned towards me. The guy with the gun motioned towards me, and the little naked character ran up to me. He's like, "Hello, I am your slave. What do you want me to do?" And I was like, "Oh, gee, fuck off!" It was like a twelve year old boy, and I like, just logged off. I was so fucking Aww. uncomfortable. I, no, it was some weird. Something fuck was going on there, man. Into... I always, with those games, I don't know what it is, uh, all those kind of online games, it seems like everyone else is more uh, willing to talk and team up than I am. I don't know what, I, I get I, very... I uh... No, I didn't even, he wanted to team up with me. He was, I was like, I don't want to team up, dude. I don't, I'm... Yeah, I just, I always feel, find it weird just talking with someone one-on-one, -on -one. like, especially if it's like a, a 10-year age gap, I'm talking to like some 12-year-old, 12-year-old, and I can hear their mum yelling at them in the background. Yeah, I don't like that shit. Get off, take it off the computer! Get, pause it! Michael, what do you think of the concept of, like, alien greys, like, grey aliens? Uh, I I really do love that concept, I'm not even kidding. I I've fucking loved hate, it since I, I South really, Park, I, I, think it, I think it's more annoying than, like, Bigfoot, conceptually. No, I love the alien grey. I, I don't really know where it started. Did, was it, it really started... just the Area 51 stuff? No. The, by the way, did you know the Area 51, like, Roswell and all this? Roswell specifically, I saw an interesting thing that, like... If you looked at like UFO enthusiasts in the seventies, Roswell was not even ranked among the top fifteen most interesting UFO things until like the fucking late nineties. Because some one dude wrote a book about it, but we think of it as like this amazing. Like, everybody freaked out in the forties because nobody knew about it or cared. Yeah, that's what I thought. No, no, it was nobody really knew about it or cared. I kind of got re um like re reintroduced or something. Was it like really cult back then, and then it became more mainstream later? Yeah. That's exactly what happened. Interesting. So that's very interesting, right there with the alien. But what do you think of the the lyrics in the Family Guy song "Bite Me, Snoopy"? And there's a, there's lyrics, um, there's a part where 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 Stewie says to Brian, "Bite me, Snoopy." I f I feel like it's something that Seth MacFarlane thought was funny for probably like two weeks, and then looked back and we, we talked about this do, do you think do you think he yeah. looks back on the freaking sweet like peter sank freaking do you think he looks i back think on everyone uh, all those guys uh look back and probably cringe on i mean like us cringing on cartoons we've done i we... would bet for a fact i would bet for a fact that um uh, that all the writers from season one are like dude what the fuck are we doing actually you know what have you seen that interview uh that seth mcfarland did with george lucas oh, i saw it years ago 
flow. Do you remember he says anytime Family Guy is on TV, he has to stop and watch it, like any episode it is. Now, if that, I don't know, if that was me, uh, episode coming out, I don't think I could watch it. So maybe he doesn't cringe at his stuff. Yeah. Uh, I think I'd, I mean, it depends. How new is it? If it was stuff I made, like, if if I saw, like, fucking clown robbery on TV, I wouldn't watch it. But if I saw, like, something I made recently, I'd be like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll. Well, he doesn't, he doesn't say, he just says if an episode of Family Guy is on, he watches it. And I don't think most, I don't think a lot of people would be able to do it. So maybe he does love his own cut, uh, stuff and doesn't, doesn't regret anything. Who knows? Let's get him on. Let's get, guys, do you want to see Seth MacFarlane on the very Guys, positive can you guys, can you guys all please tweet at Seth MacFarlane and say go on, yeah. the, on the very positive yeah. stream? Uh, positive army, go out there and get Seth MacFarlane, please. You have to say, po- ver- you have to say positive that, army, assemble. Yeah. Positive army, assemble, ah! Oh, sorry, I wasn't... Uh... I've been reading the chat in the last minute. I'll catch up. Right, guys, here's my friend Michael Cusack, uh, touching an alien gray. It's, I can't see. I'm, it's lagging for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, getting la- I'm getting computer lag. My ping is high. Uh, Gaknex says, draw a knight with a banana, sword, and six That pins. is fucking seriously the most epic shit I ever saw. Okay. Uh, Alpha Beast One Two Four says, "Let's grab a drink in LA. Promise I won't kill you." Well, he's promising he won't kill you. Yeah, that's, so that's that seems. Promising. This guy's gonna pretend he's got a broken arm and say, "Hey, my car's broken down." He's gonna beat me in the fucking head. <laughs> it's a Ted Bundy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that really is fucking genius. I have to. You have to admire. No, it, it is. It really is. I do think about that a lot. Actually, <laughs> the arm broke. <laughs> it's so weirdly uh like <laughs> specific like he must have had that idea when he was in the shower or something he was like whoa like no, no, no. he's like whoa no, no no that's a good idea no 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 that's a good, no, that's a good idea like, well, no no think, write that down write that down remember that arm brace Broken Fuck arm yes. trap no that's good that's good that's really good <laughs> who's i was thinking about this too out of like john wayne gacy ted bundy all those guys who do you like, who do you like the most? I'm not saying like, oh, you're a fan of them, or who do you like? Who are you more attracted to the most? More interested in? Um, that's a good question. Like, who am I most fascinated by? Even yeah, fa- I guess I don't fascinated. know. Ted Bundy is interesting. You look at that attractive. final interview he did. He's like, I think I used to, I used to go into the garbage and get uh, get pornography magazines, and they were hardcore. I think that's what. It's like an hour before he's executed or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, he was an old one. But like, I, Michael, Michael, I'm going to use the rest really quick. Look at the screen here. And uh, okay. if there's any crazy suggestions there in the uh, thing, feel free to or questions. I'll or, or catch up on you guys' uh, little donation. I know I haven't always been. Draw an OC Silly Peanuts character. We'll see about that. Indeed, we don't know what that is. Freaking sex Lois. Sweet. All great, all great suggestions. So, who, what what do you guys think? Who's uh, who are you fascinated by? What serial killer do you like? The guy who built a hotel just to kill people. I don't know if I know that who that is. Oh, morning, Phil. Fifty Canadian dollars. Weeping Seth MacFarlane, please. I will flag that for you. Thank you. That's very generous. Huh? Uh, Zach. Okay. Zach. That, that is great. Okay, I'm uh, back. I was just telling you, I was, yeah, I was saying, yeah, Michael, you're the only one that can hear me, like, the chat can hear me now. By the way, what, um, what do you think morning about... Filth, what do you think morning about... Filth says, uh, Canadian $50 says, Weeping Seth MacFarlane, please. I just thought... Yeah, I'll draw, I'll draw like, a crying Seth. Yeah. Good. Put Pretty big nutty. boobies on this guy. He says, Squirrel 44... My God, Squirrel 4458 is a fucking menace. He's a creep. He's a cretin. I, I'm pretty sure uh, the FBI should investigate this guy's hard drive. He says, put big boobies on this guy. This guy's into big bosoms. By the way, I don't I don't know if I've got that double chin or big face like uh, that. Or <laughs> what, sorry? What do you mean? Like that. I don't understand. I don't think I've got like a hair, like a mullet like that or gut. Uh, yeah, no, In I, fact, did... I don't think that's me at all. So you, so here's what's interesting. So you definitely have the mullet. 
it's kind of iconic um now i'm gonna make some all some some edits to this because i think you're right i don't think it's um i'm gonna make your zipper undone because it's a very well, cut, really it's a, what's that does my mouth really do that? It's, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. No, it's like actually gonna, no, I'm not kidding. I was going to bring that up to you. You're just trying to find the right time, just drawing me like that yeah, with your way I to think, tell me. I, I know this is not the easiest time, but... Uh... <laughs> I see. Also... Never, I've never been a big fan of ACDC. Well, we, Definitely well, don't have a shot of them. Um, I mean, I, I, I would definitely dispute that very heavily. Uh... So now what we're yeah. gonna do is we're gonna draw like how your hair looks, the color and everything, because you've got some very very interesting traits with that, and then we're gonna we're gonna explore that is what I mean. So, I'm interested. To you say. definitely saw uh, Game Grumps, which is good. That's fine. And you put a you put a blonde streak <laughs> in your hair, and I'm just gonna tell the chat that because okay. you can't run from that anymore, dude. Yeah. So no, I, can't, I can't run from uh, my natural gray streak being a copy of Egoraptor's blonde streak. Uh, <laughs> that's it. That's why I naturally went gray. Now, I'm just such a big fucking fan. Now, here's a fun fact about Michael. He's very yellow. Does it make sense? Like he's just, like he's uh, like he's yellow. Does it make sense? So, I I really do think you're thinking about Adam Ployan right now, not me. No, no. So. These are the biggest traits. I put a big scar on your head, which is classic, <laughs> Michael. My streak is not yellow. You did get it dyed. I saw it happen. I was there. You can't <laughs> like. so Michael also does have famous uh, pink pants. His ACDC shirt, ACDC rather shirt is. ACDC, ACDC, ACDC. See that now, Michael is getting furious, but this he can't hide. He can't hide. He can't hide from the, from this from this reality here. Now, Michael, don't have brown hair. Don't have the scar. Don't have the yellow bit. <laughs> um, don't... Did you say the yellow beard? The yellow bit. Oh, don't have the, the yellow um, beard. Anything, I'm really. gonna give you a yellow the... beard now because you said yellow. I thought you said yellow beard. <laughs> the mouth, honestly, is the the part that I don't know what if that even if you're referencing something there. If it, it, it so you're not, you're not sure that's an actual like, insult of like if I'm picking on something. Or yeah, I'm, I'm I'm kind of, I, I'm going back and forth for that. Is it like a thing that's actually there? Um, no, I'm just drawing. I'm like, well, I'm an artist. I'm like, I do character stuff. I do. So. Sure. You know what I mean? So, I love to draw new worlds. I love to draw very cool images and things like new dimensions and. <laughs> yeah, new. New. That's how I'd say. That is new. No, that's, that's a new different. dimension right there. That. <laughs> new as in different from, like, everything that's. Here right. No, exactly. So, let me go. It's gonna catch up in about like a minute because I think the stream is very behind. But um, when you look at that, we'll move on. But I think I think you like, I, you know, they say like if if you put an ant on like a rhino, a rhino or whatever, if it was all in one part, it would think or an elephant. I mean, right? You put an ant on an elephant, it would it would, it would crawl across certain parts, and it would be not sure what kind of animal it is. It crawls across the horn. It crawls yeah. across the. F so, yeah. this I think it it individually zoomed in or is, like very far. It's kind of hard to decipher. Zoom down when you see the whole picture. In fact, it's on screen right now. If you see that as a whole, I think you'll realize you'll go, "Oh, I think it'll click." If that makes sense. Here's the thing. With, here's the thing with all this. Just like the the goblin pussy debate or earlier. Orc, but yeah. This is well. This is something that can be easily debunked. People can just look up an image of me and compare it with that and see that there's, I, frankly, no similarities that I can see. And the audience, uh, I think, what do you mean by that? Come to the same conclusion. Saying? I mean, the yellow beard, the yellow me. beard thing is not even. I don't think you can even argue that. Guys, start a start a thread. Let's um, let's get some. Well, people. I'm, just, I'm letting you know right now. This is just this is unrelated. Whatever thread you guys do start on the subreddit will be deleted by me if you try to even open this as an issue. Um, okay. I'm just saying. I'm gonna put the foot down. Yeah, that's on. That's on me. That's Holy on moly! Me. Squirrel four four five eight donates twenty dollars. Thank you, my friend. And he says, draw the actually donates nineteen ninety nine. It's like a little. It's a. It's like a, it's like a a blender price. You know what I mean? Like those old commercials or whatever. I don't know. Just to kind of free associating kind of funny thought ahead. Um, he says, draw the old Hooters lady. I don't know what that is. But here, let's draw something far the weeping at first. So, yeah, that was a that was a 50, 50 CAD one. Holy macaroni. Uh, what's that like? That's like 
Probably two USD or something. Probably less than that, really. It's probably double what I think. I think you're about double over what it actually would be. Okay, so now let's see here. Set. Let's be a quick again. I I, I try to keep these characters to a minimum because uh, they're going to be hard to do in a quick time, and you want to save time here. But. Um, okay, so he's. Now that's already good. It's very lopsided. That's very. That's what we want. Laugh and cry. Did you ever think that, that was effing sure. cry? I don't think I did. I think I, I, there's probably people at school that said that, but I made like a joke tweet where somebody was like, "What is? What was amazing I about your 2018?" And I said like, "Oh, I finally." I actually never thought that. I I never got. I had a friend who thought that, and I argued with him. Yeah. Right there was something in, in a TV show. I remember, um, I think it was like The Simpsons Hit and Run or one of those games. Barney says something like, he says, that, he says thanks, little buddy, when you drop him off. Right, sure. It's like one of those taxi games. And my, my friend thought he said, thanks, little donkey. I was like, no, actually, no, I thought he said thanks, little donkey. And he, anyway, we argued over that. And uh, This looks literally know, right. nothing like something falling. Um, yeah, no, I, kids are fucking stupid. I used to mishear stuff all the time. No, kids are dumb, no. Yeah, no, they yeah. They shouldn't be allowed to watch anything, to tell you the truth. I'm going to show it to my kids. Could you, could you ever see yourself, like, punching your kids for, like, some kind of fun or something? I could see uh, doing some stuff like that. Just, like, what, just breeding kids to to harm them? Just, just like, living punching bags, you know what I mean? Do you reckon there is a, a Dude, someone 100%, that's just this, absolutely. made kids this to hurt them? This looks nothing like something for, hold on. I think there's a dude. I mean, you get people that breed kids to fuck them. Oh, that's that's not good. Let's. No, no, I don't. You know, that's not very positive. <laughs> that's actually not positive at all. Not going down that far. That's 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 a bit rough. <laughs> but no, but that def that does happen. No, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. Just, just no, to no. make sure that does happen in this world. No, I'm saying it does, for sure it does happen. I hate it, and I hate it. No, I hate it. It's, it's, I mean, something like that is happening right now, somewhere in the world. But uh, yeah, let's not let's not talk about that. No, that makes me sick. Do your best Seth MacFarlane impression. <clears throat> was that good? That's pretty good. So here he is, uh, uh crying. Oh no, Ted Two was a. Uh... It has a 32% of Rotten Tomatoes. Is that true? I actually don't know what it's got. I would guess it's let's got... See, a, let's see what Ted 2 has on the... On Rot on the on it's the got 46% on, on Rotten Tomatoes. It's got what? 46%. What did I say, 32? 6.3 out of 10 on IMDb. I said 32, I think. That's not... Let's see. Ted 1 has got... Well, like, I'm going to say Ted 1. Let's guess. Let everyone guess. I'm going to say let's 62. Okay. I'm going to say 64%. Uh, I'm going to say... 71. I think it's a little bit too high, but we'll, we'll see. All right. Uh, 68%. Okay, so we were about... What did you say? I said 64. And I said 71. Is that... It's almost exactly... Yeah, middle. That's that's basically fucking... That's... Guys, we're pretty much like average out, just like to the right. I love that. I love that we can I come together like that and do these interesting creative things. Narrator Patrick Stewart. Did you see? I didn't see Ted. Uh, the Did first movie. I'll say this with the first movie. It's a really interesting idea, and the first act is like. Um, I think the first act is not that bad, and the, but the second and third act are like the same thing. If that makes sense, just watch it. it yeah, I saw it in theaters too. The third acts are pretty are pretty rough with uh, comedies usually. The, sec, like, the third no the third stakes, act is just really. the second act repeated. It's really fucking weird. Yeah. It was it. it, it it was, um, and that was actually at a point where I was like, well, Seth MacFarlane was not in charge of Family Guy. That's why it's gone to shit. And then I saw that. I, was like, okay. I always, I always found it weird that he just did the, the Peter Griffin voice straight up for, for, <laughs> yeah, the, teddy bear. for, for the character Ted, you mean? For the te for Ted, yeah. Uh, that just seemed, can you do anything else? I, I was weird about this guy for a while. Like I, 
You could probably track it on Sleepy Cast. You could. At first, I was like, years and years ago, I was like, well, Family Guy is fucking terrible, but it's that's because he's not a part of it. You, you know, that's he left. That's why it sucks. And then I saw Ted, and I was like, no, this guy fucking. And I saw. Then I saw what Millie was to die in the West. I was like, fuck this guy. I don't. I don't give a shit. Who cares? I think I. I went full circle with that stuff. Now I'm just like, if he can, hey, if he can get that much money to just, you make, have to admire it a little bit can to a point. Sell right? to get those uh, movies and shows. It's like good on him. He must have some kind of talent. Yeah. No, I. I don't hate the guy. I. I still think Family Guy. Family Guy's animation looks like fucking garbage. But what, we cry about it. You know what I mean? Like, what am I gonna do? Yeah. Who cares? It's the, free, it's the free market. There's an audience. Yeah. For there's it, people so are watching it. Okay, this took way too long to fucking do for how bad it looks. Wait, hold on, let me get the blushing. Let's cut these little cheeks. Ooh. Bada bee, bada bada bo -bo. Why is he crying? That was the suggestion. Where's somebody said Joel Crow? Oh, yeah. Uh, Patrick Madonna says, what positive animations are you working on? Uh, like, projects in general, just animate, like, YouTube animations. Uh, let's just say, are you working on any shorter By the cartoons? way, the official, the official word for Mark, the official word from Sick Animation is, yo, thanks for the invite, and then all caps, no! <laughs> so, it's the official that like, word, the official word. Let me know, he's not gonna come on? No, in fact, I mean, he's... We'll convince him next time. Yeah, yeah, guys... Please, uh, please give me a thumbs up if you want to see him come on. Please thumbs down if you want to see him come on, come on too. What were we talking about just a second ago? Uh, what positive animations are you working oh, on? Oh, uh, there's, cool there's little a little, cartoons? there's a little animation I want to do about a guy and his mother, and he loves gravy, and I think, I think once, uh, I have Schmuck sort of, episode 5 sort of, uh, out there, or at least close to out there. I'll, I'll burn ahead with that. Uh, K. No, it's 10 bucks. It says, draw the SWAT kids, T Bone, and Razor. I don't know any of those. I'll, I'll try to suggest that next time. I don't think I've. Especially considering how many characters that is. Um, some television. Uh, 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 Connor uh, Kemling. Then it's five. <laughs> Why'd you have so much trouble with that? That is a normal name. I don't know. I thought I just said Kremlin, and I was thinking about like little, uh, little, little Donkey Kong characters. Um, and he says some television providers had subtitles that actually said "f and cry" instead of "laugh and cry." Also, draw a rat using a Ouija board. A rat using a Ouija board. That's a pretty simply. Let's see. F and cry. That's a, that seems so stupid to that's say. Like, that's something only a little F kid would cry. think. That's something a little kid would think of. Yeah, but I guess to be fair, it is a little baby saying it. So there's that, I guess, and yes. It looks like an Asian person. I don't know why it came out like that. I'm not going to redraw it, but that should not. That really <laughs> so did just not. Just draw whatever you think Hindu every time you, uh, uh, I do a stream. I don't for Hindu. I have no more money. Please just fill my dreams. Please. We don't know what that is. So Wait, what, 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 is, what is he suggesting? It's the guy. Just draw what you think Hindu is H every time Hindu. you do a stream. I don't, he's probably donated like $400. Wait, wait how much? Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. How do you spell Hindu? <laughs> I mean, that is really that, H I sorry I, H I N D U D. I th I think we just uh, ignored it before because it seemed like it was something dodgy. That like still sounds. That still sounds rotten <laughs> meme from the four chans. <laughs> Let's just look it up. What is this? I, I I'm looking up Hindu and I see nothing's coming up. That that's well, that's okay, lovely. I've got Urban, I've got Urban Dictionary slang for. Uh, slang for one who comes from India, not used in an offensive manner. Now that sounds like this is just the guy from this stream that's written this in Urban Dictionary. That sounds Trigger. like he's obsessed with a character called Hindu who no one else knows. But okay, he's well... made this up. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. Well. Here you, go. you can draw whatever you want. Apparently, that can be Hindu. You can just brand that as something new. 
He has donated six hundred and thirty-eight dollars. Hello, so. Homer Simpson. I am a fucking racist caricature. Michael, you were saying that when you saw Pooh for the first time, you literally said, "How the f is that on TV? That should not be on television." Yeah, I wasn't. That, I wasn't okay with that. I said that is literally not fucking productive. Um, yep. And yep. we need to unpack this. I literally, when I first said, saw Pooh, I said, "This needs to be unpacked," and then I called. No, I think I was like three or two years old when I saw a poo for the first time in my even living back room. Then and I turned to my mom and said, We need to pause that, pause that, whatever, pause that on the TV. Yeah. We need to unpack that on N. Yeah, and I think, mom, I think you literally so. said, That is not okay. Hey, mommy, that is no, not said, okay. No, 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 no. I said, That is not okay. This is 2018. Thank you. And your mommy said, It's no, baby, baby Michael, it's, it's 1986, baby Michael. <laughs> no, baby Michael, it's, it's 1984, <laughs> my baby Michael, baby Michael. Here's, here's the fucking badass caricature called known as Hindu. And, and by the way, if, if Apu is not is not who you wanted to, I don't know what a Hindu is. You have to just tweet it at me or something. I have no idea. No, you you can just you can. It's up to you now. You can make it a very nice thing. No, this is evil. I think. That's fucking sweet. That's fucking cool. That's a cool. Uh... Can we please get a documentary called The Problem with YOLO, which just attacks Michael's video? <laughs> the problem with Zach Hadel. Ugh, I'm gonna puke at the thought of stuff like that. Yes. After this little drawing of Hindu is finally done, I'll look at the chat and we'll, we'll try to do a couple more quick drawings before the uh, remaining minutes pass up here. There's uh, there's the character that's Hindu, I don't know what else. There you go. There's a, there's a, there's a mouse. Actually, you know what? Someone just said, um, the Hindu thing is banned in their country. That word is, what is that? Mean? Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna step on that little character. That's, these are two shows. That's like, that's like the Family Guy Simpsons crossover right here. It's its own little show down there. Okay. Let's look at the chat here. <coughs> oh, Jesus Christ, excuse me. Oh, do a TV pitch. That's a good point. Oh, yeah. Let's think of a TV show. I love that we, we only ever do that because someone reminds us. Fucking suck. Um, okay. Um, maybe we can just get this guy to star in it. Which character? Hit dude? No, I think it should be a fresh idea. Let's, let's yeah, really, let's, let's really, um, uh, let's really. Uh, okay, okay. I'm, I'm seeing an elf. I'm, I don't know what it, just sing a I'm cool seeing elf. I'm seeing the word elvish. Uh, yes, Elvish uh, character, Lord okay. of the Rings. This character, his curse is that he has to always look at the camera. That's the fucking scary thing. He has to look at the camera. He, he stares right down the barrel of the lens. People always say, why is he staring down the barrel of the lens? Um, he's got a cool name like um, Egorth. Egorth? He's Egorth, the elf. Who stares right down the damn camera. <laughs> and there's like a cool. Like, I think he's so casting behind too, him. by the way. He's very like, uh, did that just happen? You know what I mean? That's his, catch <laughs> that's his catchphrase. Cool, cool explosions happen behind yeah, him. Yeah. He's like, yeah. Right. I guess that was <laughs> uh, something that just happened. Did that just happen? That's, that's, that's literally his catchphrase. Uh, Erm, did that just happen? Yeah. The whole the whole kind of show is really cinematically it's like great. The lighting's fantastic. Uh it's shot on like red cameras, like six K. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This is and pure I'm fucking staring HD. at the camera. You look at this, you're like, man, they yeah. really put probably too much effort into the Yeah, no, this is something where like uh it's probably the only show that I, I bought a four K TV. This is probably the only show where it's really bringing it to yeah. live, my TV to live. Did you and... see the new season of Cobra Enthusiasm? There's like one shot in the new season where like it's like perfect HD you're like, dude, this is not this doesn't the, work for this show. There was also one where it's on like a steady cam, and it was really cinematic. It just didn't seem right. I feel like Curb the movie. You feel terrible when he was. It's like this child was like walking out to the house. The little... He's walking out to Leon's yeah, yeah, little yeah. shack or no, something. Yeah, that's the shit. Yeah, it, like literally, there's yeah. yeah. 
So it was like it was super cinematic. It looked like Spielberg directed it or something. That's so what that's okay, what this so show looks like all the time. El, yeah, Elf stares at the camera. Um, is there like a fantasy world behind him, or is he no. is, this, is he in the real world? Maybe I think it... this guy's been teleported to a new to this realm. Okay, it's like a fast food restaurant. Like clerk, it's like clerks. Uh, you got Dante and Randall in the background. Whoa, is that? Oh yeah, Mike, that Michael, just come Michael, out of Michael nowhere? and I, Michael and I, really want to write Clerks three. We want to, we want to write Clerks three and leak it like Kevin Smith As wrote, if it, you wrote it. And, and you, you want, yeah. you want, you want to spoil what Clerks three is? Okay, here's the movie. Exterior establish, you know, establishing shot. You get the little, wherever they're working. The third movie, all right? It's a new place. Maybe it could, could be the same place before. Yeah. Uh, no, no, I think it'd be different. So first, well, okay, at the end of Clerks 2, they went back to the convenience store. That's so right. it's going to be back at the convenience store. But something's going to go wrong. So, yeah. like, f first 10 minutes, something happens bad at the convenience now store. I think, now, I think, now, I think, uh, I think it'd be, I think it'd be Randall doing, say something bad to the customer. Yeah. No, I think Randall would say something, like, nutty and off-color. Yeah. Um, he, like, like here, here's a crazy idea. It's, ba it's, it's a mother and her little, like, a five-year-old boy. And the little boy says, mm. Mommy, Mommy, what's this? And he goes, That's a sweet fucking movie, you little piece of shit. Yeah. And she goes, Oh, oh. And she walks out and she runs out with her kid. Okay, I think, what do you think about that, Michael? I think it's a good opening opening, opening scene. It's the, it's, a, it's the fucking bee's knees, you retard. Michael, you think that's good? Did we lose Michael? Hello, Michael. What happened? Oh, my my little microphone unplugged. We we were in the middle of writing Clerks Three. Okay, so Clerks Three. All right. So Randall gets uh, Dante says, "Randall, you can't say you yeah. can't say that." In front Randall, of the you can't call the you can't call the customers a piece of shit. Yeah. It's, and it's it's two and he, he also in this one he says it's 2018, Randall. You just can't do that. And Randall would say something like, "What's the big fucking deal? I just called him a piece of shit." That's fucking yeah. good. Randall. Yeah, yeah. Now I think I think this could go on for about two hours. <laughs> just that one conversation could go. On. Randall, you're supposed to do your job, and it's like the like he's walking around while Randall's kind of like following him, like the camera's moving. He's like he's like doing you know he's grabbing boxes. Randall, you can't call the customer a piece of shit. And what about these boxes you were supposed to move out back? Yeah, I can do what I want. Hey, you should learn to lighten up sometimes. Hey, lighten up with chewing gum. Lighten, lighten up. up once in a while, why don't you? Randall, you've been saying <laughs> that to me for 30 years. Nothing's going to change now, huh? And then big fucking 3D letters. <laughs> Clerks 3. That's that's the movie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think that's good. I mean, uh, that's all. Yeah, orc. Well, I, I'd like to see an orc do a scream in that, like just run oh! past the camera. Go, oh! yeah, like an orc, like rams through. And then Kevin Smith walks on screen. He's okay, everybody, fucking hold up, hold the phone here. I met Bruce Willis back in two thousand fucking eight. Yeah. I, you know, I worked in the two thousand fucking nine. Yeah. I, look, fucking... I, I, mean, I work with a lot of cool cats, but Bruce Willis, man, he he was not cool. Just want to say that one. Have you seen that video of him telling the Bruce Willis story? There's like a little drone flying over his head. There's like a like a dinner plate sized bald spot in the back of his head. He, yeah. I, can't, I can't he's watch told, that video. He's told the Bruce Willis. He's told. Well, I'm not even, I'm not even bullying him. I'm just saying times. that video really. I can't look at it. But it, I think the Bruce Willis thing is like, okay, you had a bad experience. Okay, so what? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't understand that. If you looked at Bruce Willis and he was an asshole, would you just keep that to yourself? Well, even if he was an asshole, and even if you were, you said it. Like say okay, say it one once. You need like eighty times at Comic Con and like issue videos. Like yeah, he's just a douchebag, man. It's just who would work with that guy? Okay, okay, we get it. You don't. You had a bad experience. I thought it was. I he's not a bad storyteller sometimes, but uh, yeah, the Bruce Willis story. I think he's he's milked that one dry. We get it, Bruce Willis. I haven't seen his recent films. He's done some f recent films that no one talks about anymore. There's like one where it's like got his daughter in it and. Johnny Depp's daughter or something? Do you know about that? No, I was this. Is this the yoga zombie thing? Yeah, it's something like that. I'm sure. I, I think about six people saw it. I don't. I don't know if it's something that was like critically like panned or or what the deal with it. Is. Have you watched a Clerks movie recently? Like, have you actually gone back and I, watched any of those? I went back. I I used to love both Clerks one and two. I went back and watched some of Clerks one recently, and I find it hard to watch now. Really. I which, think, which one do I you think, think? Anything anything I'm super into, anything uh, I was passionate about, I look back and I just cringe at just because of how much I was into it. So maybe it isn't that bad, but I 
I'm probably just cringing at myself liking it so, but so much from back in the day. Maybe I, the, the, there's a shot in the first week that I remember. This is not even a critique of the content, but I remember. I remember there was a. There was a shot in the first movie, like in the back of a car. The camera guy is literally, it's nauseating. I hate that. Left, and, like right, and, left and, and right and left and right and left and right. It was like, oh my, yeah, I actually yeah. got sick to myself. I got like fucking vertigo. It takes, you, it takes you out of the movie and you're like, oh, that's just Kevin Smith holding a left <laughs> camera. Cool. <laughs> okay, you know what? We wrote Cloaks 3. We This goblin has his own story. Let's draw his arm and finish this up. <laughs> Sorry, I mean the fucking elf, whatever. Who gives a fuck? Wait, we need to we need to give a title for the show before it. Um... Does he have a team? Does he have a T-shirt that says "Yeah, that just happened"? Yeah. Or is that a tattoo? No, that, no that's a T-shirt. I don't know where the T-shirt starts and ends. Could be like a whole movies thing where it's like. They're they're pe- okay. You know what I mean. So what what is this TV show? Did we just come up with about five percent of it and then give up? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right? Now he's holding the head of Kevin Smith. I think that's. I love sweet. being a decapitated head. It's just, it's Dude, like, I was like, I'm a fucking so decapitated cool. head, man. It's fucking like. Oh, yeah, sweet. by the way, I'm high right now, just so you guys know. I yeah, smoked enough some said. weed. <laughs> yeah, smoked a joint. Okay. Whatever. It's legal. Okay, there huh? you go. This is absolute insanity. This show is. Is this, is this like um, who's that redhead that's holding Trump's head in that? Oh, Kathy show? Griffin. Is name? Yeah, is this like the Kathy Griffin. This this in this world, this is like the Kathy the Kathy Griffin scandal. Yeah. Oh, okay. So this is the whole scandal in a series. This is the this, so he is, did this, this is the plot of the show. <laughs> Wait, this guy just really doesn't like. He doesn't like Kevin Smith in general. Or he was a big Kevin Smith fan. I think and... he was like you, where he was like a big Kevin Smith fan. He went back and watched Clerks yeah. two and one, and he was like, oh. And then, by the way, the fact that he's yeah, an elf... Yeah, or, or I think he's waiting for Clerks 3. Maybe maybe Clerks 3 came out so and he this, wasn't a fan. So this could even be... this. Well, this could be even like... This could be like sort of like he's joking with Kevin Smith. Like he's like, if you don't do Clerks 3, there's going to be... <laughs> but he still is a fan of... Uh, There's going to be problems. Uh, yeah. But then the whole the whole world media gets onto it. Like, oh my, you can't... You just can't do that. Yeah. You can't hold a dick yeah, yeah, of a, yeah. a film director. Yeah, I, I would think this title of this show would be... I think the title of the show would be "Yeah, that just happened." Yeah, that just. Ha- how does Kevin Smith? Do we see how? Uh, he'd Kevin be Smith he'd be in the series finale. He'd come in at the end. Yeah. Okay. And I think this guy would have like 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 uh, like assassination attempts at him. Yeah. Just to be just to be sure about this, he's an elf, right? He's just he's an actual elf uh, that's come from some. Yeah, fantasy yeah, land. that's still, That'd be something that like the creators thought of like in season one. And they really didn't use anything. But like after season one, they really stopped kind of incorporating the elf, that. The elf aspect doesn't matter pretty much. That would be something that the fans would talk episodes. about a lot. Going like, you remember when, like in season one, he's like an elf. But like that's even... one of those things where it's like, um, yeah, you, you're like, oh, yeah, Homer has like he wears heels. That's yeah, so weird. I just yeah, it's one of those things that. you just kind of get used to. You're like, wait, wait a minute, wait yeah, a minute. You get used wait. to it. Like, oh yeah, he's got elf ears. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, that's that's something that the the, the writers would completely because they 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 incorporate it like in the story. You just kind of forget yeah. about it. Yeah, for, he, he, yeah. Everything we come up with, it's like a shaman or an elf. It's just we are hacks. I'm gonna no. I'm gonna kill myself tonight. I'm not kidding. This is no, actually. I think it. I am. I think it really am. I think. Yeah. yeah. No. 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 I think. I think. Uh, I will say this: if you kill yourself, I will do it too. Just kind of out of like, like, like a reaction. Not, not out of like I can't live without you. Just as a like, uh, eh, why not? Oh, yeah. I see. You're like, oh, well, he did it. I can. I, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Just more, more is like a. Uh, I guess if he's doing it, okay. Just like kind of if someone. Follow someone jumping off a bridge. Uh, well, Moist Watermelon says Hitler gave his Fourth Reich in North Germany. I don't know what that means, but uh, thanks for the last comment. I think that's a good no. comment to end on. Uh, we also have great stuff called, uh, so, so we said, Draw a Bulge. Uh, chocolate Rain is better. Now, this comment, this comment bothers me. This guy says XD, right? But the D in XD is a lowercase. Yeah, is that like the tongue going upwards? Yeah, I don't know what that is, dude. Hey, buddy, you keep you keep that kind of uh, hey, buddy, mm. hey, mm. buddy, you keep that kind of stuff up, you're gonna be kicked out of here immediately. Not even a, a bit or a joke or anything like that. Let's play chocolate rain. <laughs> I 
I fucking love that song. Tay uh, uh, Okay. Let's see. All right, guys. Adios, everybody. Thank you for joining. Next time we'll be a little bit more prepared. Michael, the cartoon song is playing. Is there anything you'd like to uh, say? I'd like to say that was an epic stream. I think I, I wouldn't even apologize for it at all. I, I think yeah, that's you know, I feel kind of bad. Though. I feel love. You should, you should weakness by. Did that, did that feel, did you think it was like a beta thing to do? That was bad. Yeah, that was like. Okay. That was like well, absurd, no, you know, know next time we do it, I'll. Uh, I'll try to because I don't want to. I don't want to come up like. A, I don't want to have like beta tendencies. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's someone that people have been saying. Okay. Well, I will. Uh, no, that, that's good to know. Okay, that's actual good for That's a good like sort of piece of advice. Thank you for joining! Maybe next time it'll be crazy.